The Horizon Energy Box from Horizon Educational contains everything you need for hours of experiments with renewable energy technologies. What can you do with the Energy Box? In this video, we'll take you through just a handful of the activities you can do in your class or lab. You can run experiments on solar energy using a simple desktop lamp with the included wires, solar panel, and LED lights. Students can easily see how the electric current changes when the solar panel is tilted or shaded. The wind turbine allows for experiments with wind energy. Simply choose from one of three included blade types and assemble the rotor. Then attach it to the turbine body. Connect the turbine to the LED lights using the included wires. A standard tabletop fan can provide enough wind to turn the turbine. Students can easily change the number, type, or angle of the blades during the experiments. A reversible hydrogen fuel cell lets students generate hydrogen gas from water, then use it as a fuel to produce an electric current. Simply fill the oxygen side of the fuel cell with distilled water using the syringe. Then fill the oxygen and hydrogen cylinders with distilled water as well. Connect the fuel cell and cylinders with lengths of tubing and connect the fuel cell to the battery pack. Then watch as hydrogen and oxygen gas begin filling the cylinders. When you've got enough gas, disconnect the battery and connect the fuel cells to the fan motor to generate electricity. If you don't want to use the battery pack, the reversible fuel cell can also make hydrogen using the solar panel or wind turbine. Use the Renewable Energy Monitor to get real-time data from any energy source by connecting it to your circuit. Solar, wind, or any other generator will provide energy output that you can visualize with our Energy Monitor software by using the included USB cable. Students can explore bioenergy with the ethanol fuel cell. Just fill the cylinder with 10% ethanol solution and use tubing to attach it to the fuel cell. Connect a small length of tubing for exhaust and you're ready to generate electricity by connecting the fuel cell to the fan motor. The included pH paper allows students to determine the acidity of the fuel cell's exhaust. The saltwater fuel cell creates electrical energy with a small amount of salt water. Measure out your desired concentration and inject the water into the cell using the syringe. The magnesium anode easily snaps into place. Then connect the wires to the fan motor and you'll start generating electricity right away. The thermoelectric generator needs only hot and cold water to generate an electric current. Pour hot water into the side with the black wire contact and cold water into the red wire side. Students can measure the temperature of each side with the included thermometers. The bigger the temperature difference, the more current it creates. Students can harness their body's own energy with the supercapacitor and hand crank generator. Just turning the handle generates electrical energy. You can connect them directly or use the potentiometer to know when the supercapacitor is full. Be sure to turn the generator clockwise to avoid damaging the supercapacitor. When the needle on the potentiometer is in the green, hook up the fan motor to unleash the stored electrical energy. The smaller microfuel cell works in one direction using hydrogen from a hydrostick cartridge instead of from splitting water. To use the hydrostick, simply attach tubing to the pressure regulator, securing it with the screw-on cap. Then use the plastic clamp to clamp the tubing. After that, screw the regulator onto the top of the hydrostick and you're ready to go. Attach the other end of the tubing to the microfuel cell. Attach a small length of tubing with the purge valve and connect the fuel cell's electrical contacts to the fan motor or LEDs. Then release the clamp. 
you may need to press the purge valve if the fan does not immediately start turning. The hydro stick will provide enough power to keep the fan, LEDs, or other small electrical device running for hours. Your students can examine many different renewable energy technologies at once with the electric mobility assembly. The car body is designed to allow different components to attach securely while providing power. For example, a simple clamp allows the hydro stick to mount onto the rear of the car. Connecting the microfuel cell and hydro stick with tubing as before, the microfuel cell can then be attached to the middle of the chassis. This configuration can now be used to power the car instead of the fan or LEDs. Just make sure the car doesn't fall off the lab table. The supercapacitor can also power the car. Charge the supercapacitor with the hand crank generator as before. Secure the supercapacitor to the middle of the car chassis and connect it to the motor, then watch it go. In the same way, the battery pack can provide power with the flick of a switch. Students can observe the effects of different types of power, which type makes the car run faster or longer. The reversible fuel cell works with the car chassis as well. The cylinders mount on the rear of the car, while the fuel cell attaches to the middle. Fill the cylinders with distilled water and connect them to the fuel cell as before. Then attach the battery pack to generate hydrogen gas. When the cylinders are full, disconnect the battery pack and use the hydrogen to power the car. Students can modify their car to try to get it to be more efficient. Is there a minimum amount of water they need to put into the cylinders? Can they lighten the car in some way? Compare the hydrogen fuel cell to the salt water fuel cell, which can also power the car. Fill it with salt water as before and snap the magnesium anode into place. Connect the wires and your car is ready to run. Lastly, you can also use the solar panel to power your car. Place the solar panel on the included mount and connect it to the motor to start the car.